So in the beginning of this summer, I brought to you some affordable hair at a really low cost. Now I'm bringing you more expensive hair, but it's really gonna last you a long, long time. This hair is from Privileged Hair Extensions and this is raw South Asian, a South Asian? <laughs> Southeast Asian hair and the blend that I have in is wavy curly so when I first see this hair I was like okay like I've never seen packaging like this before so I really want to thumbs up this company for their packaging so when I opened it it came in this box and on the bottom of the box it has their social media sites that they're on and their website. Now inside, it was like good packaging as well because you would expect to just open this box and the hair would be in there, but no. So when I opened the box, it was this inside and the hair was in, I had four bundles of hair and it was in each section a bundle by itself. The inside of this is like a satin material, so I really like that the hair is not like rubbing on something cotton. So although it is on the pricey side, you do get what you pay for with this hair. It also came with this um, pure argan oil. And I've actually been using this a lot on my face. Yeah, cause it says skin and hair care. So I was just like, you know, let me try it on my face. So I tried it on my face and actually like, this is like my favorite thing. Like I'm about to go buy some more argan oil. Cause like, I love it. Definitely gonna be using this in the hair as well as my face. <laughs> I can't really give you a rundown on how it's been such as tangling and shedding. I can only speak about the packaging, how it feels so far right now and the texture and specifications of the hair. So this company kind of reminds me of like, I don't know if you guys remember from back, back when YouTube, uh, Arjuni, Arjuni, whatever, how you, however you say it. They used to have blends and it used to be like raw, like Cambodian hair. This hair, when you go, go on the site, they have blends. So you go on, you go on the site and then you see a price that says like $300, $400 and you're like, I'm not paying $300, $400 for one bundle, you know? But when you click on there, you would actually see that that $300 covers about 7.6 to 8 ounces whatever it is in that blend so it actually isn't that expensive once you actually go on the site and look and see what you're getting in the package texture of this hair i would say it's not like raw hair is like it's different it's not like regular hair that you get i'm so used to like hair when i you know wash it diffuse it it's really silky shiny it just kind of like stays there like this hair it really reacts to like outside when I washed this and I diffused it it really gave me like a puffy natural look and I, I actually like that look but like this is what you're gonna get with raw hair you're not gonna get you know some silky hair that always behaves because that's hair that tends to be chemically processed it feels like it's not super coarse, but it's definitely not on the silky side, so I want to say medium, and the luster is about medium as well. Now, they do have um, lower lusters, which is so pretty. Like, I love low luster hair. They have low luster. That's why I said it reminds me of the Arjuni hair. I like hair that has more of a unnatural, coarser look or feel. Got four bundles of the hair, and I think in total it came, don't quote me, but in total it came up to um about maybe 10 to 11 ounces of hair so that's equivalent of maybe if you go on aliexpress and they have 3.5 ounce bundles and um you get about three of those so that's like y'all help me out with this math so 10.5 you get 10.5 ounces of hair if you normally you know most bundles come in 3.5 um, ounces and she had the lengths um, and the ounces which my lengths are between 17 to 21 so it's not your standard you know even numbers the ounces on my bundles I had some that were 2.4 some that were 2.6 so it all varied but all together I believe it came up to 10 to 11 ounces of hair I um, made a wig put all four bundles in and then um, I didn't have a closure so, um, I do hair, so I always have leftover hair that people leave or people don't want, whatever. So I had um, a piece of a frontal 
that I didn't install as a frontal so I had like a little piece of a frontal so it was literally like this shape so I put it right here so I just have this much it's like a weird shape for, weird shape closure so I put it right here so that's how big you know the closure piece is on this and it's not this hair um, it's like some random hair I don't know where it's from so if it looks a little funky it's because this hair is not the same as this hair and this hair the closure piece is actually lighter than the um, privileged hair extensions but it blends I just need to go in and color this hair black because this hair is actually pretty dark which I really really love um, I love when my hair comes black I'm not gonna say that you're gonna get hair that's black because this is raw hair so it comes you know however she gets it but my blend was really dark since this is raw hair it is um difficult to find a closure that will match like i just got lucky that this kind of like matches with it but um the texture is a little off like in person they are getting closures soon they do not have them now so that's something i kind of don't like right now but um they are getting closures soon but i also want to um talk about the weft construction so this is the weft and you can see there's no beards absolutely none um the wefts were really really strong like it, i had a really hard time getting my um needle through it but i don't mind that because i don't actually sew through my wefts i only do that at the end so um I kind of just had to put myself a little bit <laughs> to get it through you know one or two or three four times that I had to fold it over but yeah um, this is the hair and how it comes well this is my blend you can say you want this look but you know not every blend is gonna be the same so that's kind of cool like my hair won't be the same as your hair and vice versa. Do go on the site and you see it in bundle form and you kind of want to see how it would look, you know, installed or on a wig. They do have like a 360 virtual view of it. So you can go on the site and click on that tab and you will see the hair in a 360 view. Um, another thing that I do want to mention as far as this hair being on the more pricey side is that they do have financing options available. So if you cannot afford to pay for it all at one time, you can do a financing option they have two different financing options if you don't get approved for the first option then there's a second option that you can go apply for so yeah I really like that because you know everybody wants to look fabulous and get some really good quality hair that will last them a long time and I'm all for quality hair like yeah you could buy the Aliexpress hair that's gonna cost you $200 but is it really gonna last you you know up to three years you know I have hair that I still wear that I've had for three years I really really do love quality hair extensions so guys that is all if you have any other questions or comments please leave them down below so I'll be back in about you know four to five weeks with a final review of this hair and I will talk to you guys later bye